Welcome back to Luck Studios. It's your boy, Good Luck Chuck. I know you guys noticed that I have my Mario glove on today, but what I'm bringing you is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now, I have this glove on because I was hurt at work. I want you guys to see it. But in our new segment, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, I'm bringing multiple sets and I'm going to open a few packs here and there. That way it gives me a, a broader range of cards and packs to see and open just for you guys. That way it's not just a booster box where I'm just trying to get through the cards, right? So I think this will be a lot more fun, so we're going to get into that, alright? So let's jump into the cards. I know you're wondering if I received my code for special delivery Charizard. Nope. And starting off with our number 10 pool for this month is our Celebi, Amazing Rare Celebi. Then we've got, oh, we've got Talonflame, Pidgeot, two birds of a feather that flock together. You hear what I'm saying? Dub. That's a dub right there. Okay, then we got Smeargle. Then we got Pikachu from the McDonald's box. That's a dub. McDonald's is serving up smiles and dubs. Okay. 100 billion sold. What you know about that? Look at that. Rotom. V. Yeah. Aerodactyl V Star. What? Shout out to Jurassic Park. What y'all know about that? Garantina V Star. AKA Who Shall Not Be Named. Okay. Then we got our Zamazenta V Shiny. Okay, all these, it's a V parade. You know what V stand for? Victory. Okay, victorious. And don't let me hold you, we got our number one pull of the month. Shiny, Zacian, fire, straight fire. All right, those are our top 10 pulls right there. They are the audience today. Now, let's get into it. So we got a... Uh, First, and a little bit of this, Steam Siege. All right, I'm going to try and try out something new. I'm trying to hold it in a way. I want you guys to see the border. Yeah. Chimchar. Yanma. Mary. Mantine. Mantine. Ponita. Ponita? Oh! Guadavar EX. Woo! That looks pretty saucy. Bravery. Nuzleaf. Stilix Spirit Link. Right? So we're definitely... Gonna get back into sleeving, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Guard of War. We just saw her in this latest episode. Alright, next up we have a little bit of that with our vivid voltage packs. Kill cart. Okay, Faraseed, Rilu, or Riolo, Riolu, I think I'm going to go with Riolu, Sandile, Welmer, Weedle, oh, Vaporeon, Reverse Hollow, Dreadnought, Dread now, got fire energy. Fire trainer over here. Dust clops. And beauty. Shuckle. Alright. Got another pack of vivid voltage. For a little bit of that. Co cart. Beldum, Fampy, Duskull, Electrike, 
Pineco. We got Leak Staff, Reverse Hollow. B Drill. Got a Steel Energy. Oh, a Nuzleaf. Memory Capsule. And that Pokemon. Giraffe. Pokemon. So we got a little bit of this with our match battle cards. Oh, I am stoked. Look at my boy Growlithe. Oh, and the centering looks pretty good too. That's a keeper right there. Growlithe's my boy. Growlithe is my boy. Chinchu, Flaffy, and Beware. Got Smeargle. Another nice card. Yeah. Lapras. Pinguru. Another pack. Okay, you got Victini. These match battle packs come from McDonald's. Ladybug. Drampa. Drampa. Pingaroo. Pingaroo. Another pack. Glass of Fleur. Chincho. Grandpa, beware. We got Evolving Skies. I started opening for. I even had it ready. That's how excited I am. Co car. So here we go. Got Sable Eye. But while I got you, ha while I have you guys here, I would like to talk about how eBay has purchased TCG player, oh, Typo, Reverse Hollow, Tropius, that's a rare card right there, we got our Electric Energy, Crustal, more Evolving Skies, full card, Right, so for those of you that don't know, eBay purchased TCG Player for $295 million. That's, let's see, what's base set going for? So Shadowless base set is going for $432,000, right? So that means it would take 683 boxes to equal that deal. Better yet, think about the most expensive car that's out there. Here we go with Hypno Reverse Hollow. And then we have Garbodor V Max. Garbodor V Max, followed by a Grass Energy. Can't make this up. And the most expensive card, single card, that is PSA graded is the PSA 10 Illustrator Pikachu. Our next pack. Here's your code card. And that Illustrator Pikachu is worth $5,275,000. Right? And I would need to, and a person would need to purchase, because I'm not going to put that on myself, because I ain't got them kind of funds. <laughs> or an extensive collection like that. Yet. Altaria. Reverse hollow. And then we have this. I think this is a. One of those legends. The Ray G. Eleki. Eleki. Then we got our steel energy. But I would need. I keep saying me. Because I want to be rich. But a person would need to buy that Illustrator Pikachu. 56 times to equal that deal. 
Bravery. Right? And more of a little bit of this. We're going to continue. Evolving Skies. There's your code card. So with Evolving Skies, we're trying to pull that Umbreon VMAX. If it exists. Because they reprinted. I don't know if anybody knows that. But I don't think these are any of the reprint packs. Like, I've been holding on to these bad boys for a while. Lombre. Oh, a jump bluff. That's your electric energy. You know, trainer card. A psychic Pokemon. Now I've got a little treat thrown into the mix for you guys for a little bit of that. Got a Cosmic Eclipse pack to open. Okay. Here's your code card. <laughs> Roulette. Am I saying that right? No. Roulette. Fan Thump, I think that was. That's a low end Grimer. Magnemite. Eevee. So cute. Carvanha. Lunala. 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 Has an ability. Here we go. Or our grass energy. This is a fighting Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Look at that gloom. When was the last time you seen a gloom? And a trainer car. Okay. Now we're going to move on to a little bit of this. The Brilliant Stars Edition. Let's go. Go card. Oh, and before I forget, let's talk the anime. Right? So we've been waiting all this time. Excuse me. We've been waiting all this time for a battle to commence again. Let the tournament get back underway. And today we come back and, you know, Ash is being Ash. He's a, he's a sleepy boy. Waking up late. Magmar. Reverse hollow. Waking up late. And then we see Go is up doing research. You know, it pays, which is why he has the better Pokemon, the cooler ones. Let me say that. He's caught a, well, I shouldn't say caught, but he's seen a Mew. Go card. Still in the Brilliant Stars packs. But and he's called a, a Suicune, like, go beyond it. So Ash has a little adventure. And while he's on this adventure, or I guess not an adventure, he wakes up late and then an adventure finds him. So we don't get to see what's going on in the tournament, even though we do see what's being announced. Garchomp. Which is in the episode, and I believe Garchop is flying. We're doing some flying practice, and uh, we see how well Queen Cynthia treats her Pokemon by giving him a massage, or her massage. I'm not sure the gender of her Garchomp. Code card for you guys. Right? And so the tournament is underway. And we notice that they're not there watching, so the audience doesn't get to watch. But by the time they get back to the stadium, after they find, because they found a lost girl because um, they had some fans come find them. There's your code card. Okay. So they had some fans find them, then they get lost. Or one of them gets lost. But she's actually watching a glass of fleur evolve into... It's called a Eden something. I can't remember. Um, but they watch that and then they go, oh, the tournament. And then they rush to the tournament. Oh, Luxio. Reverse hollow. I like that background. Um... They rush back just in time to see that Lance is just outright destroying 
Diantha. Outright destroying Diantha. All right, now we've got a little bit of that of Lost Abyss. This will be the last set of the segment. So, fingers crossed for something. Great. Let's do it. Right? So, it appears as the battle's going on, we're watching Diantha lose. Her... Well, what Pokemon is out? I want to say it's Pumpkaboo? Oh, no, 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 it's, um, Dragon Pokemon. I can't remember the name of the Dragon Pokemon. Uh, yeah, but anyway, and that's how forgettable this episode is, because Diantha's just not putting up a fight whatsoever. Right, so... She loses that to, um, I believe, well, I've been watching it in, in Japanese, and the names they say are different, so I'm kind of remembering those names and not the actual English names, but it's the, I want to say, Rilla Boom, the, um, it's been the... The gorilla Pokemon with the drums that he's been using first in majority of his battles. Um, that's been doing a lot of the legwork for him. So Diantha Mega Evolves her God of War. Because that's her last Pokemon, of course. And then Lance uh, takes a L that we see as the viewers. Which is kind of... You know, lackluster. It doesn't make you feel like um, Diantha's on a rally. Like, she's going to come back. But Lance sends out his Charizard. Um, Gigantamax's Charizard. And then they have a nice little battle. Brief, but it's a nice little battle that they have. And then Diantha ends up losing disrespectfully this will be the last pack now i think it's very disrespectful because she gets stepped on this whole episode like for whatever reason we don't pay attention to the tournament but when we come back she's already down to her last two pokemon so she was getting steamrolled and that's just a Terrible look. The only way it could have been more disrespectful is if Lance would have mega evolved his Charizard to beat her. Alright, this is to be the last pack of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <sighs> Alright. We got this Pokemon that's made of sweets or is a sweet Pokemon. We got one of the legs of Meta Gross. Just uh, stay a basic form of talent Oh. Dude! Oh. Oh. oh no! Do you see this? That is why they call me Good Luck Chuck, baby. You seen that? Are you seeing that? Are you guys seeing that? Look at that card. Oh my God! Oh my God! Ha oh, oh, ha oh, oh. ha! Man, this card is beautiful. Let's take a look at the back. Oh my God, I'm gonna, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and put you right there right now. Oh my God, that is so amazing that I pulled that. Let's go ahead and sleeve this bad boy. Let's go ahead and sleeve this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are in the presence of Gary. Shh. He shall not be named. He is known as the Dark Lord. 
and he has returned. Finally! All hail the Dark Lord! Give praise! I can feel the power! Finally the Dark Lord has returned! All hail the Dark Lord! 